Uh, Emma, you're a huge movie person, and Matt, I wanted to hear your take on this if you had seen it, because I feel like this might be a left reckoning topic, maybe, but it could be discussed here. Um, have either of you seen The Suicide Squad? And what is your take on the anti or pro? I don't think it's pro imperialist, but what is your take on what it is saying about imperialism in Latin America? Specifically, the very real history it covers about Panama. It, yeah, um, I, I haven't seen it, but I heard it was like surprising that the that they went, waded into this territory. Matt, go. I, I am completely unaware of really even what Suicide Squad is, um, and certainly their treatment of Panama. I read a review of it, and it and I heard that it was like shockingly anti-imperialist. Yeah, I. <laughs> I would say, I mean, we'll see it. I, I would say that I think it tries to have it both ways at times. But I would say that it was, uh, and I would love to hear like a further take on like the way Hollywood represents imperialism on screen, especially in Latin America. Um, because I just think like it's very exciting to see like a movie like this that actually does mm -hmm. delve into real history about Panama and like. I, I was reading a foreign policy article about how close the, um, I mean, I read it as Venezuela, of course, and then not knowing about Panama, reading about Panama, it's it's pretty accurate or close sort of a parallel to what happened in Panama. But um, I would love to hear, like, maybe when you see it, just like your takes on this, because I think it is more liberal than leftist, unfortunately, right. as a sort of like, a, um, a, I guess, a... Um, principled leftist take would be that no imperialism can ever be justified. Uh, but having said that, I think uh, it's, it's as good as we'll see a liberal take on sort of intervention and imperialism in Latin America. And well, from like a big budget years, superhero movie. From a big budget superhero movie. I would well. imagine too, it's rated R, so it allows it to go to different places, um, which is kind of this new trend in superhero movies, which is interesting. I'm not a big superhero movie person, but I do like following the business. And um, I heard good things about that storyline from people like but obviously you know josh i trust your opinion i might see it just to have a critique of that but like oh man i i, I I'm, I'm so i hear it's good but i'm so cynical about the fact that they're remaking the same damn concept and just put, slapping a the in front of it um and, I, and, and just redoing that I, unbelievable but i hear it's actually good i hear it's i hear it's getting good reviews and it's it's high energy and you know well done yeah yeah i mean i i, I the first one's a mess the first one was one of the worst movies i've ever seen in my life terrible uh, terrible i think yeah i think this one's really good and i think it actually does like i said it, there is enough there in what it's talking about politically to do like a an episode of a podcast and i would love to hear it sometime just okay uh, i mean it's in. it's interesting it's like um juice and the black messiah which is a movie i enjoyed but the what i even enjoyed more from that is hearing from actual panthers about you know where it goes wrong and what um the reasons for that might be uh I, i'm a little bit ambivalent about the idea that this sort of history is you know becoming content for you know massive um sort of entertainment industry except you know i i am somebody who thinks that it does do some good if it can lead people into looking into the reality of it a little bit more I'm, and i guess it remains to be seen uh if suicide yeah. squad does that yeah the yeah, suicide squad oh sorry the, the come on then all right, yeah, cheers. Thanks so much for taking my call. Appreciate it, Josh. Okay. Later. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.